I have covered uh, General Mattis for many, many years. One of the most plain-spoken, blunt generals out there. Do not expect him to revisit the Trump campaign. Don't expect him to get involved in politics of what has happened over the last two years. Expect Jim Mattis to look forward very rapidly when he gets to the Pentagon. He will have many challenges. He will have to deal with the fight against ISIS, the upcoming fight to retake Raqqa in Syria with Russian advances. He will be a key point man to deal with Russia's advances in Eastern Europe and in the Middle East. Can he trust Vladimir Putin? What advice will he give Donald Trump? on Putin, and he will be the defense secretary that may have to confront and deal with the North Korean nuclear situation very uh, quickly. We know that North Korea, even as we stand here, is working on its underground tunnels again for a potential additional nuclear test. These are the kinds of things that Jim Mattis is walking into. He will be a secretary of defense that will be looking to deal with all of this, not to get mired down in the political fights of the last two years. But here's the big question. He will also, for the first time, have to deal with the mundane day-to-day -day business of running one of the world's largest bureaucracies, budget, acquisition, science and technology. It is a huge portfolio. Uh, can he do it? Absolutely. I don't think there's a question about it. But it will be interesting to see what he decides to focus on, what his interests will be, and how he will interact with other key players. Lieutenant General retired Mike Flynn, the new National Security Advisor, who is actually junior to Mattis, and also whoever becomes Secretary of State.